What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. We have saved Lynn from her third death from a stupid Goldberg machine, but now it's okay. She still doesn't trust me, which is dumb, because I'm a dead guy and I'm a ghost and I saved her and her dog. But okay, looks like she's going to the chicken kitchen to rendezvous with Camila. Even if you can't cooperate with me, how about we just agree to use each other? Ooh. Naughty? That's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. See you later, alligator. Not for a while, crocodile. But don't die again, if you can help it. It looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating, and she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I better get to the prison. Yeah, I remember where that is. It's the place with the two guards. Let's go to the place with the two guards. Chapter 6, 9 to 3 p.m. Lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. Schedule. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Alright, let's get out of this popsicle stand. There we go. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I've already read this before. Forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lynn probably doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every life, uh, little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? I think this old man's right on. He knows what he's talking about. You gotta seize the day. Don't like what's going on, you change it. I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. Hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself, keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I better head there too. Let's dial on out of here to the prison! Here it is. Let me just double check here. All right. Bup, bup. So how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours and then it's time. Guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Is he drinking on the job? What the hell? Pretty awesome. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. 
His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Hmm. Why is there a second piece of paper here? Hey, Bailey. Hold on. Ooh, what's this? Try pitting up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C- What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who, what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice, that's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Nice and hard. Important documents, commissioner's moustache, were destroyed by the flames. What did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Mmm. Interesting. Let's try and get that secret out of him. Oh, wait. Ooh! That's awesome! There you go again, fooling around with that thing. Bom, bom, bom. Why can't I move yet? It wasn't me. God, that was a slow reaction. Don't lie, you know you love to see me jump and prepare for emergency. Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyways, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired. Close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. Hmm. Cool. There's so many cool things in here. But it's still not enough to get to the TV? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Hmm. I can try pulling the switch again and see what happens. And... Turn it on again. supposed to do I just don't know maybe if I do this if they could just let me ghost while I'm I don't know in a better position What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Take- wait. 
Oh. You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. Oh, and right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. What was it, a murder? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. How is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark sea bee secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. They reuse dialogue too often. But maybe with both papers gone, they can finally do something different because I just can't... I can't go anywhere. Is he moving? Oh, a third piece of paper! I guess this is all part of the plan. Bring dinner to prisoner D99? The chef is preparing it for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about that one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything. All a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently... This case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this, this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D-99, who knows what he's thinking, or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So, the prisoner I'm looking for, D-99, was convicted of murder. And he apparently has a beard. That is good to know. Are you finally gonna go in there yet? What? Help me out here. Another one? It's time. Oh, that must be What's-His-Face. How do I get there, though? Aha! Wine glass! Bo-do-do-bo-bo-bo-bo-bo! Woo! Look at me go! Interesting. No, it's too far! I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who's saying the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Alright, let's try this again. Ghost! Sweet. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. Peace out. I'm done. Come on, take me with you. Here we go. All right, C-38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? 
That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music. Not even an amp plugged in. Amazing. I don't see any beards. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lin possibly want with that information? Bo 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 bo. Damn! Don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like Guardman is gone. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Come on, sausage head. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 is a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lin said he would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spiky's schedule for tomorrow. Hmm. So this is one of those little blackboards Lin mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read. I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? Just talk to the guy, man. What am I supposed to report back to Lin now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway, I might as well try to find Prisoner D99's cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm there. But of course a ghost doesn't actually have hands. This telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Okay. What does this do? An emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Then the guard comes, and then he's probably gonna throw one of those papers in the toilet again. Yep, I knew it. I caused quite an uproar, I guess. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or I can use the blah blah blah. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's been almost 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, so stay tuned for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!